So, bringing the culinary delights from India, please welcome friend of Blue Peter, Reese. How are you? Hi, Richie. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Now, you were only on the show a few months ago, but for anyone who doesn't already know, you were the 2020 Junior Bake Off champion, weren't you? Yes, I was. Right, so we are in very, very capable hands. I'm glad you're here. What's on the menu today? So, today we're making one of my favourites. It's a potato patty called Alu Tiki. It looks and sounds delicious. As I say, I'm really glad you're here because you're in charge. So, should we get started? <laughs> yes. So, you get cracking while I'll tell everyone what they need. First things first is a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or red chilli pepper powder. One pinch of garam masala powder or curry powder, a pinch of coriander powder, one teaspoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, two pinches of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt and two large boiled potatoes mashed and of course cooled. Reese, what are we up to here? So now I'm going to add the rest, the rest of my spices. So Lovely. I've got my salt going in. Now I'm going to mash it up with my hands. Making sure that the potato is cold and yes, cool, right? Make sure the potato is nice and cool yeah. and soft because it's easier to work with and it's less dangerous. Yeah, okay, what's next now that you've mashed that all together? So now I've mashed it all together, I'm gonna grab a little handful. Mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna roll it in between my hands like a burger patty. Yeah. And then just gonna squash it. And here we have a potato patty. Perfect. And we're gonna plop it in the pan and you're gonna get ready to start frying. Yes, I will do that right now. And make sure you grab a grown-up for this bit because it involves a hot frying pan. We don't want you hurting yourself. So while I struggle to put this on, tell me, what is it about this dish that you love so much? I just love it because it's so easy. Uh, I think it's something that everybody can do and it's perfect for the summertime as well. Nice, easy finger food. I am very excited to try this as well. I bet it would help if I actually switch this on. There you go. As you can see right here, Here's what I made earlier, but how long do you need to cook for before it gets to this phase? So, as the potatoes are already boiled, you don't need to cook them very long, so it's just until they get golden. So about two minutes either side, just until they get that really nice golden brown colour, and then cool. they're ready. So this one you're actually happy with, yeah? Yes, that's perfect. Right, as you can see, golden brown either side. I am very proud of the one that I had no hand in making <laughs> at all. But, uh, is there any dips that you think can go with this as yeah, well? Yes, so... Uh, I use, this is a very simple dip, it actually tastes really delicious. Okay. So it's just mint sauce and ketchup. Oh. So we're just going to spoon some of the ketchup into the mint sauce. Mint sauce and ketchup I would never have put together. No, but it's really, really nice because you get like the freshness from the mint sauce but like the tanginess from the ketchup and it tastes really, really delicious together. Right, okay. I think it might be time for me to do my favourite bit, which is to try it. Okay, Reese, if you could pass me over that dip. There we go. I am very... Very excited. Ow. Do you like it? <laughs> that is delicious. Oh, my goodness. All the details of how to get involved in this are on the Blue Peter website. So you can go back and get hold of the ingredients and get involved in this as well. Ow. Honestly, Reese, that is delicious. But you're not going anywhere just yet. You're not finished here, are you? No. Got a little sweet tweet for us later? Yeah, so we're going to be making carrot hulwa, which is a traditional carrot pudding, uh, and it's really, really sweet and delicious. But, Reese, let's talk food. We've done the main course. How about a little dessert? Yeah, so we're going to be making carrot hulwa, which is a, like, sweet carrot pudding. Mm. Uh, it's one of my favourite desserts of all time, and we're going to be making it right now. OK, is it one of your favourite desserts of all time because it's really, really healthy, because it's got loads of carrots in it? Yeah, it's got loads of carrots in, but it's also got lots of sugar in. Right, OK, so, so healthy. But it's, it's healthy. So it's it healthy. is a sweet treat, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Don't eat too much of it. Exactly. <laughs> now, uh, apart from the carrot, this is what else is in the dessert. So you need three to four of those medium carrots grated, 475 millilitres of milk, four tablespoons of ghee or butter, 95 grams of sugar, and a handful of pistachios. And of course, while I was reading all of those ingredients to you, Reese has gotten started. What's going on? So I'm just finishing off grating the last of my carrots, ready to be boiled with the milk. OK, is there anything that I can do? Yeah, you can put these carrots yep. inside the saucepan. Wonderful. With the milk. Thank you very much. We've got a saucepan of milk here. I'm going to throw these grated carrots into this milk. And uh, what sort of heat are we looking at? So here? we're going to put this on a medium heat. We're going to let this cook for about 15 minutes, just until the mixture is reduced about, by about 75%. OK. Um, as entertaining as that sounds, I don't think anyone wants to watch some milk reduced by 75% for 15 minutes. <laughs> so here is one we did earlier. There we go. So what's in here then, Reese? So here we have the carrot and milk have been reduced, and as you can see, it's thickened quite a bit. Now we want to add the sugar and the ghee, or the butter, and we want to let that cook for a little bit as well. OK, shall I go for that? Yeah, yeah and go on straight in. in. Right, sugar, bang, ghee, wallop, and 
Uh, same heat or a little bit lower? Or a little you want to put it a little bit higher now uh, and you want to just mix that together, get that all combined and probably say cook it for another four, further five to six minutes just until it's thickened quite a bit and you don't see much of that milk. OK, I'll give this a good old mix. Reese. I want to know a little bit more about this particular dessert. Why is it your favourite? Tell me about so, it. So, this is from the Punjab region of India. So, mm -hmm. it's quite a popular dish. It's, it's served all the time whenever you go to like, Indian restaurants and things. And my grandma used to cook it for me all the time when I was younger. Um, it's normally... Well, I used to love it when I was younger. Really hot, served with ice cream. Oh. Really, really delicious. Uh, you still can't beat it with ice cream. It's absolutely amazing. I'll be trying that at yeah. some point. <laughs> OK, once you've stirred this on a higher heat for five or six minutes, I believe it's going to look a little something like what this? you've got right there. Yes. Is it finished? <laughs> yeah, so it's almost, it's already all reduced and it looks absolutely delicious. Yeah. So we're going to... So is it, is it sort of consistency-wise, is it a bit like a chocolate mousse? Yeah, it's thing? quite thick okay. um, like a and thick sticky. Mousse. And you just want to... And as, like, as I say, because it's quite sweet, you want to serve it in quite small portions. OK. Um, so just a little bit in a bowl. Sure. And then you want to add some pistachios. Pistachios add a nice colour to it and they also add a nice... Uh, help with the texture. OK. And a nice crunch. And there we have it. Oh, my goodness. Delicious. I'm going to try. Go. Thank you very much. I am so excited. <laughs> this is obviously always my favourite bit of every single bake that we do on Blue Peter. Uh, without <laughs> spilling it everywhere. Ow! Oh, my goodness gracious me. This is delicious. Um, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Glad you like it. One of your five a day. One of my, this hands is one of my five a day. Well, it's got carrots in. It certainly does. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, whoa, 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 hang on. Rishi, how have you been the one to eat all the food today? Because I'm the hungriest. <laughs> I think Henry's hungry too. Oh, no!